So there's other aspects of, of the insects that I bug Jeff, <laughs> funny pun there, that I bug Jeff a lot about. He's here every week, folks. Yeah, he's here I... every week. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's like, he's here every day. I can't get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, the, um, the insects are the key. And the insects are a key on a wider base that we could get even way more interesting and technical about. Because what my analysis is, is that insects are the, the baseline of harvesting materials and transferring those materials within nature. Um, and that's literally how so many things are moved up through the food chain is because the insects are at the very bottom of the, of the food chain. So, you know, when we get into trying to create complete self-sustaining systems, and this is the, the ultimate dream of Jeff and I, which is to take the Genesis system that he's created and to maximize it to the point that it is emulating nature perfectly. And what that means is, is that it's a closed loop. And I think the only way that we can ever get there is to utilize the insects as a, as a harvesting mechanism to be able to deliver the key nutrients to the fish, and then the fish then pass those nutrients through their bodies into the, into the water mixture that then feeds all of the plants. And that's how we will – but that is going to be a long-term research project that will involve probably all of our academic partners and us even trying to get more academic partners that are specifically focused in, in insects. But, you know, last anecdote on this is there was a really interesting operation that I was made aware of in India where um, they take public po uh, toilets that service whole neighborhoods. So – in a lot of the, the Indian higher metropolitan areas, there will be uh, essentially a shipping container or a box that's dropped down. It might have 20 toilets in it, and you pay a quarter to use that toilet, and those toilets are regularly cleaned and, and manned. Now, that's a service in itself that people over in India are paying for, and what this specific uh, brand did is every couple of weeks they come in, they take all that poop, and they take it out and they put it in a field and they put uh, uh, soldier flies on it. And soldier flies are interesting because their mouths aren't big enough to bite humans or animals, so they can't transmit disease. And what the soldier flies do is they sit there and they eat all of the, the poop. And because of the nature of how their digestion systems work, they don't break down any of the elements. So they're actually considered a, a reservoir of, um, of heavy elements. And this makes it very easy for them when they're eaten by the next stage of life form for them to pass those nutrients and those elements directly into that, that next life form. So what they're doing in India, they put the soldier flies out on the field and after about five or six weeks they come back and the entire field will just be covered in soldier fly larva. They then take that larva, they vacuum it all up, they, uh, they, um, they uh, shoot it in a, a – um, what is it? I'm trying to remember. They, they disinfect it, and then they freeze-dry it, and it gets reduced down to a fish food that's a highly organic, super nutrient-dense fish food. And this is a way that you could actually – they're not – they're just using it because they're making money off of the toilet services, and then they're taking the, the waste product and just turning it into high-end organic fish food. But – this is how nature is, has shown us a specific mechanism that it's recapturing all of those nutrients. And as Jeff, Jeff and I both know and, and have talked about, you know, human beings are nutrient sinks, but we also pass through a lot of the nutrients that don't even get used. So whether it's the biodigester that we're harvesting the waste material from the plants when they're, when they're done or when the plant's done and reintroducing the, that, uh, back into the system so that we can be utilizing that nutrient loss or eventually we're harvesting you know poop through insects um, it's the it's it's these reclamation methods that nature itself has produced that will allow us to continue to maximize the system and get to that end goal which is to create a closed loop system where the only nutrients that are being lost are the ones that are being incorporated into the humans as they're as they're digesting them into their bodies <clears throat> yeah the the insects and just the general process overall is really really cool that's neat. i didn't know india was doing that stuff uh there's uh there's so many things that are out there it's 
quite honestly, it's overwhelming sometimes, all the stuff that you can do and how God's creation just, it's amazing. Honestly, it's just amazing how it all works. So, The, the uh, symmetry and the symphony of nature, and that's why we call the company Eden, and that's why Jeff called it the Genesis system, is we're not trying to change nature. What we're trying to do is understand how nature functions because it is a perfect system, and combined with our understanding of that, utilizing high technology and ancient grow techniques, bringing all of that together is what's going to allow us to create these you know, super functional systems that, that can outperform while still working inside of nature. Absolutely. Absolutely.